I would like to acknowledge and present our Public Service Award. I should have your attention because I think it's important that we pay special attention to his contribution, his amazing background and experience, his extraordinary leadership. This year's public award recipient. Our awardee, Thomas E. Perez, was nominated by President Obama to serve as the nation's 26th Secretary of Labor and was sworn in on July the 23rd, 2013. We are delighted that Secretary Perez will honor us by accepting this award. Secretary Perez has spent his entire career in public service. He was the first Hispanic elected to the Montgomery County Council and he taught at the University of Maryland School of Law. He is part of a community and understands the challenges faced by Latino students seeking a higher education. Previously, Secretary Perez served as Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights at the US, at the US Department of Justice. He also served as the Secretary of Maryland's Department of Labor, and in that position, he sought to protect the consumers throughout our state through enforcement of a wide range of consumer right laws. Secretary Perez co-chaired the Governor's Council for New Americans, which designed a comprehensive blueprint for ensuring that immigrants living and working in Maryland are a vital component of the state's economic engine. Secretary Perez, received a bachelor's degree from Brown University in 1983. In 1987, he received both a master's of public policy from Harvard University, Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government and a Juris Doctorate from Harvard Law School. Please join me in welcoming an extraordinary leader not just an Hispanic Latino leader, but an extraordinary leader for our time, a person that we call our friend, a Montgomery County friend from Montgomery County, our U.S. Secretary of Labor, Thomas Perez. This is truly Old Homes Day. I've seen so many wonderful friends, uh, former colleagues from the council, uh, serial activists from the community, uh, leaders of our county for so long. It is such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much uh, for this award. It is very, very humbling. You know, I get the honor in my current job of traveling the country. I just got back from Los Angeles. And uh, the thing that traveling the country really brings home to me is what a wonderful community we have here in Montgomery County. Because Montgomery County is America in the sense that we have such remarkable diversity. And what's more important is that we not simply have diversity, but it is the fact that we embrace our diversity as a county. Tolerance is one of my least favorite words. I tolerate green beans and Brussels sprouts. Tolerance is better than intolerance. But here in Montgomery County, we embrace our diversity. We embrace our immigrant communities that are doing so much for this county. We recognize that we're all in this together. We recognize that we are our brothers and our sisters keepers. We recognize that we all succeed when we all succeed, but we all succeed only when we all succeed. And that is why this is such a wonderful community to raise children. That's why this is such a wonderful community to own a business and start a business. That is why this is a community that is the envy of the nation because we have so much going for us. And so on behalf of my family and myself, Ike, and so many others, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you so much for your friendship. And thank you for the example that this county sets for America. And by the way, 
I hope that we'll have another celebration here in the near future to mark the passage of comprehensive immigration reform. I'll try and get the big boss here.